In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to install Magic Zoom Plus in VirtuMart. You can also use this video to install Magic Zoom, Magic Thumb, Magic Magnify Plus and Magic Magnify as the process is the same. You can see from the example here Magic Zoom Plus is a two-in-one tool. It's got both zoom and enlarge effects and what's more they're completely customizable. On the right hand side of the product page you'll see the VirtuMart icon which will take you to the Magic Zoom Plus for VirtuMart page. To begin, choose which version of the module you'd like to download and save it to your computer. Next, go to your VirtuMart admin area and select Extensions. Then Extensions Manager. This will take you to the Install tab. Browse your computer for the module you've just downloaded and select Upload and Install. Once that's done, select Components and Magic Zoom Plus. Normally this will take you straight to the configuration page but as you can see it's asking us to refresh our page. You'll only need to do this once which I'll do now. And you can see the configuration page is now showing which is what you'll normally see. Now if we go to the product page and refresh you can see Magic Zoom Plus is working. Now that Magic Zoom Plus is installed let's make some changes. First I'm going to make the zoom area larger, I'm also going to change the expand effect so it's no longer smooth and finally I'm going to change the enlarged background colour. To do this we need to go back to the Magic Zoom Plus configuration page which you can get to via the components option. I've already got the page showing and you can see there are three options. The default values option is if you want to make a change to both the category browse and the product details page you can do that here in one go. If you just want your changes to affect the category browse page then select edit here. I just want the changes to appear on my product page so I'm going to edit the product details page option. First I'm going to change the zoom area width from 300 to 500. I'm also going to do the same for the zoomed area height option. Each section has a save button which you'll need to click after any changes you make in that section. The next section I'm going to change is the effects parameters which controls the expand effect of my enlarged image. I'll change the effect while expanding image option to elastic and I'll change the effect while restoring image to elastic as well. Again remember to save your changes. And for the final change I'll scroll down to the background parameters section. Here I'll change the opacity of the background effect from 30 to 80 and the fade background colour from black to red. Again saving my changes. Now when I refresh my web page you can see the changes are showing. The zoomed area is bigger, the enlarged effect is now elastic and the enlarged background colour is now red. As I've just shown you, making customizations is really easy. Whether you want to change the caption text or the message that appears under your images, customize the display buttons or the hint parameters. There's so much you can do. So we suggest you try all the options and see what works best for your website. At the top of each page on our website, there's a contact us link. So if you have any questions about Magic Zoom Plus or any of our other tools, just get in touch. If we're not online when you send your message through, we'll get back to you the very next day. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching.